Welcome back, everybody, to Starlog episode 30. Stop laughing at me, Michael. You sound so bad. Shut up. I do not. Yeah, man. You sound terrible, but I'm glad we're doing this. You know why I sound like this? Why? Because I spent all day with your mom. That sounds even worse. Like, we that went sounds to worse than park, Michael. Why, 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 what's so bad about that? It's just we went the to amusement park. Just... I screamed a lot. I lost my voice. Jeez, man. All right. Well, listen. I'm sorry, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I can't get over how fucking terrible like, I sound. Yeah, you sound. I'm and I'm. I'm saying bad, but it's kind of funny. It's like, it's I, just very. It's funny because like I'm known for being really loud and obnoxious, and I physically can't be. Yeah, it's just. But you know what, Michael? I love you so much, uh-huh. and I a lot went down between us in the last three weeks. I know. And so is it's, it only three weeks? It's been like God. It's bad. Maybe it's longer. The last time we made an episode, episode weeks. two, it was before your birthday. Even you gave right. me. I gave you, you gave, your birthday that was the one, gift. That was the one where you gave me my birthday gift. And now today it's August 23rd. Yeah, it's been so long. So but it's been I like, like a month. I refused to let this yeah. like cough I have, my voice. I do not have COVID for anybody who's asking. I've been tested negative twice. I have COVID, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> I'm sick of Bearcon always getting all the attention, all right? <laughs> for once, please. Let's but yeah, so, but today as precautionary, I went to the doctor and I got a steroid shot. You're on steroids. I'm on steroids. You want to see where they gave me the shot? Yeah, where'd they give you the shot, man? All right, here we go. No, not on your butt. Here we go. <laughs> you got a bandaid on your butt. You, you fucking mooned at me. And, like, and everybody watching this, you really just flashed your butt right now? For the views. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. <laughs> you didn't. You could have just told me. You didn't have to fucking show me your ass. No, 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 no. This is Starlog. This is Starlog. We are recording. It's got like a cartoon bandaid on it. Like, is it really? What's the cartoon? I mean, Please tell me no, it's not no, Hello no, Kitty. It's just band-aid but it's like what they would do in a cartoon to show that you like got a shot or like have a boo-boo it's still got a, you didn't just say i have you know a, what it felt like a boo-boo that was the worst shot i've ever had in my life they're like do you want a shot it's gonna be on your left steroids. it's gonna Dude, they literally like, said it's gonna be on your left butt cheek and i said yeah that's fine i always I get shots it's totally fine and you never feel it i don't even know time, it felt like it felt like a knife went into my butt cheek and she like dug around in there oh and i God. felt the steroid like flowing through the cheek Jeez. Through the cheek. Why did she? Okay, she was also like, "This is gonna be your left butt cheek, so make sure that that's the butt and cheek like, you like." The way, you're, you're, the way you're they okay do with. it. The way they do it is so unflattering. Like it's not like is there, like, is there a flattering way to get an, a shot in Michael, the ass? Michael, she bent me over the table. <laughs> Make sure she can find the vein. Shut <laughs> <up>. <laughs> she bent me over the table. Uh, she she put me in. Spank you on the bum bum. <laughs> give you a shot. <laughs> she put me in doggy style. Oh can God. you believe it? <laughs> it was rough. I thought she was going to be like, okay, just lay down. But she was like, stand up. And I said, I'm okay, I can stand up. She's like, like this. And I went, what? I'm pretty sure that's against protocol. I'm pretty sure you walked in and she said, I'm going to, you know what? I'm gonna need you to bend over the table so I can give you a shot. I don't I don't like that. I'm a little uncomfortable, but uh I'm sorry you're uncomfortable. I also sorry. was uncomfortable, Michael. Dude. I'm anyway, we've been gone for a minute. It's yeah. been a it's been an adventure it's, and I wasn't gonna let this stop me from it's, recording. It's also been like a series of stuff. I mean like so you went to Turkey for a little bit. Yep. Yeah, um, so. you came back and you had a play, and then I went to South Africa. And then I came back, and your wife got surgery. Was it? Is it surgery? It was a procedure. So she it's got a, it's a steroid. She also got steroids injected in her. What is with you? Not on her butt, on her, in her spine. Um, it was an epidural ser- steroid injection. So, yeah, fingers crossed. You it's sound so cool. bad. Dude, I sound sexy. So I sound sexy. You do not. You sound like you're in sixth grade. You know that episode of Friends where Phoebe, like, she can't sing and she's really bad at playing the guitar, but she loses her voice and suddenly she's, like, really sexy on stage and everyone loves it. She's like, smelly cat, smelly cat, what are they feeding you? It's like a nice, like, edgy vibe. I, I haven't seen friends god i hate you i know anyway, i know and it's your like favorite show and uh, it's one I of them for sure we, should goodness. we should we um recap where we 
been and what we've been doing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'll start. I'll start uh, okay. because yours is a lot cooler yeah. and a lot more exciting. This episode might be a lot of us just actually catching up. Like, oh, don't worry. I'll I'll spoil Ahsoka for Michael. Just a second. <laughs> no. <laughs> don't, why do we always have to do this? I mooned my butt to the internet, and you have the balls to say this episode might be a little boring. Come on, Michael. No, I didn't say this episode was going to be boring. I, I'm I'm just I'm putting it out there that this is going to be a lot more of the a day in the life part of the podcast versus ah, the so you mean our tagline yeah versus like the uh God, i keep forgetting to put the image back <laughs> i up. like it i think it looks cool it looks no, like the i worked matrix. hard on this logo you did and it's you know, it's a good logo yeah, i like it actually it's freaking cool but yeah it says right there day in the life podcast yeah for those who are who are listening i have our logos behind us and i keep forgetting to put it behind me so that's yeah. been fixed. And I I always see it and I don't tell you. Like, I saw it for episode two as well, and I thought, that kind of looks sick. Worst. It looks kind of tight. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Um, At least you liked it. But oh, I haven't even addressed the fact that I'm wearing my safari we'll get there. We'll just, get there. Suspense. Just... <laughs> Suspense. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just, I just realized I'm dressed ridiculously. Suspense. And we I haven't promise, talked about it at all. I promise you all will find out why the heck Michael is dressed in, like, a thick jacket pants and safari hat when it's 110 degrees here. Yeah. Okay. 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 So go on. So. But yeah, yeah. So... Um, I had to fly to Turkey. Yeah, the very on like last a, second on a day's notice. Yeah, literally, Michael and I were gonna film, and then I told Michael, I was like, Michael, you can't come over. I'm flying to Turkey tonight, uh, or I'm flying Turkey tomorrow tonight. You can't come tomorrow to film. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, my grandfather did pass away. Um, it was a hard time, mm-hmm. but he's at peace, so I'm at peace yeah. with that. So, and, but the the flip side of it, because my whole family was in Turkey. I'm here. It was the first time I ever really got to spend my birthday with my family in Turkey. That's cool. So that was kind of cool. That I missed. Cool. I would. My wife wasn't able to come, unfortunately. Yeah. But I'm. I'm just thinking in my head. Well, if he's already dead, why are we not hanging out? Because like. <laughs> Such a bad joke. No. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. such a bad I'm joke. Sorry. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. <laughs> what are my, you going to the country for? Some dude who's not even gonna. <laughs> my grandfather died, Michael. Well, then, uh, he, then he's not gonna mind you staying and recording an episode with me, is he? Is my point? That's what I'm saying. He'd want me to support. He'd support our dreams. He'd support you. <laughs> no, obviously, obviously, I'm I'm joking. Uh, yes, Michael actually got to spend some time with Zia a few times. I actually went to Turkey. I because. might even be getting your grandpa's cat. Yeah. Michael is literally potentially going to adopt our family cat, which is yeah. the coolest thing in the world. I love that. I hope it works out. Yeah. I've never had a cat before, so I'm a little nervous potentially taking your cat. family's they cat. They sleep and poop, and then they sleep again. Yeah, but what happens if I lose the cat, and then you're like, you lost my, my dead grandparent's cat? And I'm going to feel like... I that's the worst thing that could possibly happen. I don't like, think you're going to lose I, our cat. Versus if I got my own cat. Michael, do you leave your doors wide open? All the time. <laughs> oh, well, then we may have a problem. Almost, almost, almost exclusively. <laughs> <laughs> you're trying out a new format. You're trying to, you're People, trying to change Strangers society. are always walking in and out. Like, what's going on in here? You and know? you know what? They're like, I really like the vibes coming from this area. Do you mind if I stay here for a little bit? And yeah. you know what? Hey, guys, you're, check out this cool dude. <laughs> like, you're 100% yeah. more in danger than you were with your doors closed. Yeah. And I applaud you. Well, you don't know. There might be some... You, know, you don't know. With those doors closed, I might get trapped. You know, what happens if... Uh... I guess in life, they say it's always good to leave doors open. Exactly. That's And that's my philosophy, and that's why I never lock the door at night. I'll make sure to, I'll make sure to d- d- you know, share that detail at your funeral. Oh, wait. No, I'm not going to go to your funeral, because I'll be recording a podcast without you. <laughs> <laughs> with, with your new best friend, with someone who's still alive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry about the joke about your grandpa. It's okay. It's I'm okay. I'm sorry, I guess. By the way, I have to throw in a little public uh, PSA. You may hear some faint animal noises in the background. Yeah. But that's why Michael's dressed as a safari. Yeah, speaking of which, safari yeah, that's a good segue, actually. So, <laughs> speaking of the animal noises in the background, um, I went to South Africa. Yeah, right what the after, heck? He went right, to South Africa. Right after you got back from Turkey. So, we've been globetrotting. Sorry we haven't put out an episode but we've been globe trotting so I mean, we're gonna be globe trotting again you're gonna go to the exotic houston texas and then i'm gonna go to banff canada <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah we're going to some exciting places <laughs> so i went for a week my fa- the rest of my family's still there the rest of my family's in uh, uh i made you come cape, back to film a podcast cape Cod? Cape why 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 see some cape cool town. animals be in a du- new continent when you could be filming a podcast yeah. with your best well, friend the, the animals that they're looking at now are almost exclusively like seals and african penguins because cape town is like a, it's a really cool city i've been looking at their instagram stories and stuff and they're doing a bunch of like in, insane stuff um but 
my experience was like almost exclusively like nature versus like a t- like we flew into Johannesburg, which is uh, and but we didn't really spend any time there, so I, I can't really speak to Johannesburg as a city because we flew in, and then I stayed the nights because we flew in at like at like eight p.m. and then I. Uh, in the morning, we immediately got on another plane to go to this um, game reserve that borders Kruger National Park. And Kruger National Park is is massive. It's like seven and a half thousand square miles, or which is like five million acres. It's like two. It's like two hundred miles like across. I think. Um, it's uh, it's insanely huge, and it's got tons and tons of wild animals. And it borders all of these game reserves that are like unfenced between like the game reserve and Kruger National Park. So it's like even bigger when you consider how much space these animals really have. Um, And so we flew in first to a a game reserve. We spent three days in a lodge there called Jabalani, which was so cool. And then we spent three days at a different lodge in Kruger National Park called uh, Shaladi, which is, which is, also very cool in a very different way they have their own like gimmicks like Jabalani the first place we stayed at um has like this um herd of elephants oh I saw that picture you posted your sister posted because you don't post pictures I haven't posted anything in like two years dude and I was like that's the most surreal thing I've ever seen in my life yeah it's they're all like orphaned elephants they were all like gonna be victims of poaching um and I don't, I don't know the story specifically. You can probably look it up on their website, but I think the story is that like this, like they were going to kill like this herd of elephants in one of like the neighboring African countries. I don't know if it was Mozambique or Zimbabwe or something like that, but um, they were going to kill like this bunch of elephants. And then the owner of Jabalani basically like came in the dead of night and like scooped up the elephants and like their handlers who have been with them since they were like little baby elephants. Came and- in the dead of the night. Yeah. Did you meet Batman? <laughs> yeah, the owner of Javalani is is Bruce Wayne, but I guess now that it you mention it, I've never seen Bruce Wayne and Batman in the same room before. So have you seen a in the same room as Batman? Who you know the Uchuba in the same room as Batman? Javalani? Yes, Javalani. I Jab- forgot I forgot his name. Javalani is the name. Jabalani's the name of an elephant. They named the lodge after the elephant. But now that you mentioned elephants, I've, Batman? I've never seen the elephant Batman in the same <laughs> room before. So, I guess we can't rule out the fact. Could you imagine if there's like a huge elephant, but it's like wearing a cowl, so everybody's like, "Who is that person?" <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if Clark Kent if Clark Kent could get away with it with el- with uh, glasses, I feel like an elephant can too. <laughs> yeah. The elephant's coming in and just beating the shit out of petty criminals. And they're like, you know what? This Those is- poachers, they deserve it. Yeah. My goodness. Um, the first elephant that they got, I think, was, like, abandoned at birth. Um, so they got this, like, first elephant because it was, like, a baby elephant that got, like, stuck in the mud. And so then they, like, rescued it and, like, raised it. And then they tried to rewild it. But the elephant, like, returned to them because they're very social creatures. So they were like, I don't know these random elephants. I know you humans. So it like so they're like okay I guess like we have to take care of it now and then the thing with the poachers happened and then it became like a whole herd and now they like have babies and stuff and they're like they really get along well together so they sort of formed this like orphan family and now they're like a, a like a real a re- the real deal but they do get taken care of they do get fed they do get um kind of trained like they um like they we were able to feed them they let us kind of feed them and they so they sort of know how to let strangers feed them and that kind of thing so the rest of the animals that we saw were like completely wild but this bunch of elephants this herd of elephants um was not but they were still you know amazing animals yeah that's so i mean elephants are beautiful they're so beautiful so that's at jabalani in shaladi is cool in a very different way but just as cool it has its own gimmick um they don't have any animals but they um, basically took a train on a bridge. So like they, they built this train over, they built this bridge over a river, put train tracks on it. There used to be this train that would run across it. It got, it's like decommissioned now. They don't use this bridge or the train anymore, but they renovated it into a lodge. So all of the rooms are like, a, are train cars and your view is over the bridge of this river. So when I was staying in this in this lodge, which is in a train car, my, my room was just, was like, it looked like a hotel room, but it was clearly as you walked in, you're like, this is a train. Um, but the view from it is incredible. And you can see all of these wild animals just from, from your bed, from the shower. Cause the sh- like the whole wall facing 
the the river is just glass it's just a window foot to head whatever the expression is um and so i I remember like showering and just watching this family of elephants like uh, not elephants um hippos this family of hippos just swimming through the river hippos are so cool yeah i would never want to get near one but they're so cool um, and it, it was, it was, just, it was amazing seeing them in the wild, but from the comfort of my hotel room. Yeah. That's so crazy. Jabalani and Shalati are, um, I hope I'm saying that right. It's okay. Um, are s- super cool. And if you can, I would definitely recommend hanging out with them. Not sponsored, but just, I, so I was just there. We could be sponsored. I want to go to South <laughs> Africa. <laughs> we should talk to them. Uh, See, I bet if we talk to them, they would, might put like clips of this on their like website or something or on their Facebook or. Yeah. And then, but only if they send me to South Africa as well. Okay. So I can truly understand. We'll tag them this and then we can DM them and see what they, what they want cool, to do. Cool. 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 Okay. Now, what was your favorite animal that you saw? <sighs> I, I'm a big fan of giraffes going into it. Um, I wanted to see a giraffe and they're everywhere. Yeah. I told my aunt, she asked me what I wanted to see most. And I told her I wanted to see a giraffe and she was like, we'll see them. And (laughs) like literally like five minutes after landing and like getting off the plane, getting my luggage in the car, driving out of the airport, like five minutes in giraffes, just wild giraffes, wild giraffes, just, just everywhere. What a a place. What a place. This this isn't in Johannesburg. This is when we flew from Johannesburg to like an airport right outside the game reserve. But like, just, I thought, I thought they'd be harder to find, but they're, Nope. nope. Giraffes be chilling. They're everywhere. That's and so cool. We saw a leopard, which is really Whoa. cool that night. Um, and it was like, I was amazed by how much it did not give a fuck about us. Like, it was just, it was chilling um, in the grass. And we came up in this Jeep and shone, like, this big, like, flashlight on it. And it was trying to sleep. And it was, like, yawning. And it was laying in the grass. And we were talking to each other. And obviously the Jeep's making noise and we got a light shining in its eyes and it's still just yawning and laying there. And I was like, and I'm thinking, this This, thing is, this thing's going to kill us. (laughs) If I were this thing, I'd be like, I'm trying to sleep here. You guys could potentially be food. There's so many reasons to get up and not, and you know, be active right now. But instead, obviously it was so calm and relaxed. It was fucking falling asleep. I'm like, this thing is so like, it does. It truly does not give a fuck about us. We were, we also saw a bunch of lions like on separate occasions because they love they're they're the lazy cat so the jaguars stay in the bushes stay in the trees stay hidden they're very stealthy so they're harder to find but the lions are lazy so they love walking and sleeping on the roads because it's clear so it's easier to walk down the road versus like through the bush so you'll just be you'll be driving down the road all of a sudden boom like did you did you see any lions or any animals really like hunter mode no we missed it just barely that might be a good thing my aunt my uncle have seen stuff like that before they've been on safaris before but did we you, we did didn't you, see a kill we didn't see a hunt did you see uh them doing the nasty no uh, um but Go what's back to south africa what's crazy is that in shaladi days before we got there like two days before that we got there in view of because they've got this amazing view like in in their view they saw lions like take down a water buffalo and were uh, feeding on it for days for like two or three days they saw the lions like kill the thing like feed on it they saw the buzzards come in the vultures and it was like that was days before we got there so we like missed this like part of nature that you know would have been really captivating but uh that's really cool you know i went on safari once did you yeah i went on safari once uh it was called the kilimanjari safari kilimanjari safari Kil- kilimanjari safari and there's these two elephants that or they're these they're brothers so it was rare that they were together because male elephants are usually separated from their herds but they were wrestling well not wrestling but they were like fighting mm-hmm. and their you know their dicks were just <laughs> flying away <laughs> yeah that was a crazy day at the Wait. animal kingdom in disney world <laughs> the animal kingdom. <laughs> ah! Ooh, that doesn't sound good i think you deserved that <laughs> Sorry, Disney. Please sponsor us. That's that's karma for talking about elephant dicks. Yeah. On my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I showed you my butt. Naturally, yeah. the next thing. You're making me think about elephant dicks. You're putting this. You're welcome. In my head. Yeah. Jeez. What can I say? I'm glad we're friends. <laughs> you're welcome. See, there's a Disney plug, a positive Disney yeah. plug. So this is this is the kind of outfit that I. Uh, was wearing like the whole time in South Africa and that's why I'm wearing this now Um, because you have to blend in with your surroundings the animals do not like bright colors they don't like colors that they're not used to so this is they call like so what you do about your personality it's it's too colorful (laughs) yeah (laughs) I had to tone it down a little bit (laughs) um 
But yeah, you have to blend in with the bush. And when I say the bush, that's like what they call the environment out there. Like they don't call it like the forest or like the desert or whatever. Their environment is the bush. So um, that's really cool. Yeah, like our tour guides would be like, I've spent five years in the bush. So I kind of got a grasp of these animals, like that kind of thing. Um, that's that's really incredible. So, I'm so glad you got to have that experience. Yeah. My wife was cursing you the entire week you were gone. Because South Africa is like her bucket list. Now we're going to Banff, like I said, in a couple of weeks. And that's also in that top three. But is it what? It, so it has such a funny name that I've never thought of it as like a serious like vacation destination. But the people who have been there have said it's great. Yeah, it's it's probably one of the most beautiful places. It, okay, so it's like a bunch of na- natural beauty. Yeah, it's incredible. I'm trying. I'm actively trying to avoid like pictures, but from what I have seen, I, I know the feeling. <laughs> that's yeah. that's my whole. Um, that's oh, my whole, is it? That's my whole strategy around yeah, and Marvel like and Star Ahsoka and stuff. Yeah, and like Ahsoka. Yeah. So. If I were to spoil Ahsoka, here's the thing. Ahsoka, the first two episodes are out. Like, I know, but they came, out, they came out yesterday for us. Do you expect yeah. me to watch the first two episodes, like, the the day they come out, in the middle of the work di- work week? Uh, it came out at 8 p.m. What were you doing at 8 p.m.? You were playing week. Minecraft. You could have been watching Ahsoka. How do you know I was playing Minecraft? Because <laughs> I know you, exactly Michael James Lee. That's exactly what I was doing. I was playing Minecraft on my friend's realm that he just got. Yeah, and I, so <laughs> I'm going to spoil You know what? I could be nice. I could just let you go home and watch it. But no, I'm going to spoil the premise. Why do we have to do this? So, <laughs> because it's kind of fun. And I think, I know, but I it's think not, it's, it's the knowing the Star Wars fan you are, I think you're really going to appreciate this. Okay. So All right, fine. Ahsoka takes place the same time as The Mandalorian Season 3. Cool. In Mandalorian Season 2, Ahsoka teased with a line. She yes. said, where is Thrawn? Where is Thrawn? Yeah. She's searching for a map to okay. that supposedly leads to Thrawn's location. That's a little familiar with one of the previous movies, looking for a map to lead to a character who was a big deal in a previous Star Wars thing. We don't talk about that. All right. <laughs> we don't talk about Rise of Skywalker. Um, also kind of... Is that Rise I thought that was... Is Rise Skywalker. Uh, I thought that was episode 7. I thought I was talking about episode 7. What's episode 7? It's also very similar Force to... Force Awakens? A, no, but there is very similar to a Force Star Wars. Force Awakens, they're looking for the map to Oh, find. Force Awakens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but okay. also kind of similar in Rise of Skywalker. Also kind of similar in, uh, Jedi Survivor. That's all I'll say about See, that. They love maps. <laughs> they love maps. <laughs> Star Wars loves maps. So here's the thing. On this journey to find Thrawn, you know who could be there? Hold on. Hold on. Thrawn famously... Ezra. Ezra. Thrawn yes. famously has a line in Rebels, the last scene of Rebels, one of them. He says, what happens to me happens to you. So if Thrawn's back... Ezra's back. Ezra could be back. Are you playing Ezra? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't you talk about told that. told me, right? To be fair... <laughs> To be fair, from what I've seen so far, has been crazy. What I've seen so far is the Ezra they cast is pretty good. They did cast an Ezra. Wait, you just? Oh my God! You just told me that Ezra is definitely going to be in it. So, oh God. if Ezra, <laughs> if there's a potential for Ezra to return, they already cast him. Of means course, he's going to be in. Hera has to return. So Hera's in it, and Sabine Wren. Isn't it? Oh, yeah, Sabine. Now, here's the thing. When did you last see Sabine? She had the Darksaber, didn't she? No. no. She gave it to bo Oh, yeah, she gave it to bo But she did have Ezra's lightsaber. And she did go off with Ahsoka to train. Oh, I forgot about that, I guess. Yeah. I haven't seen Rebels. So that's, there you go. That's all I'll say. But Rebels, Okay. Well, now- you say you haven't seen Rebels? I haven't seen as Rebels in a long time. Okay. That's what I said. Sorry. Ahsoka essentially is a live action sequel to Rebels, and it's awesome. Okay, good. Because Rebels, I feel like I was like, I have, I, I'm making myself watch this. A lot of bad, yeah. but the good that did happen in Rebels made up for the bad. Like, I really like that Force creature. What was his name? Where he's like, I'm neither good. The Bantu? The Bantu? The, ba- the Bantu. Okay, yeah. I liked him. I Bantu. Like, Bantu. Yeah. yeah. He was pretty cool. But yeah, so that's Ahsoka. So go watch it. I will not spoil anything else that happens. Basically, everything I told you, teaser trailers. Okay. Can I pivot? You can pivot. All right. Um, do you want your birthday gift? Dude, yes, of course I want my birthday gift. I've been staring at this thing the whole episode. Okay. All right. I don't have as good of like a 
as a as a bit as you had for my birthday gift. It's okay. To be honest with you, but I have your birthday gift right here, and it's actually in a happy birthday bag instead of a Victoria's Secret bag. I'm a little offended. That's not in a Victoria's <laughs> Secret bag. <laughs> Yes! Yes! I am Knopf! <laughs> I am Knopf! That's so cool. Thank you, dude. That's it so took cool. forever for them to ship this to me. Oh, I'm sure. Because... That's so cool. Yeah. Yes, I am Knopf. And is it... Yeah. Can I show you something else? Yeah. You're Knopf too! <laughs> oh! Okay. Okay. I, got his, I got his matching shirts. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh your headset, dude. Right. You're, you're getting all tangled up in your in your headset. Now we are Kanab. We're Kanab. <laughs> it goes so well with your hat too. I saw your hat when I walked in, and that's why I immediately was like, that, that is a nice hat. That's Destiny. why I immediately was like, that's a good Destiny. hat. Destiny. Destiny. Equal. Yeah, dude. Uh, Don't these things look sick? That's so cool. Uh, they're not the sweatshirts that he actually wore in the movie. But right, I, but I this like is that. so pretty cool. And I feel like they're more versatile because you can wear a t-shirt whenever. You can wear a t-shirt with a jacket. You can wear a t-shirt by itself. But the sweatshirt, you can only wear when it's cold. Yeah, this is this is pretty dope. Uh, yeah. I love it. I'm, I'm, so, so, glad. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. I'm glad you like it, man. Man. I bought this almost immediately after we saw the movie. Dude, I'm so glad you did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you're wearing it too. It only adds to it. Yeah, that's so cool. It w I feel like it wouldn't have been as as powerful if I just said, "Okay, here's here's a sh yeah, here's the shirt. This. Here's the shirt from this movie that we saw together." Instead, it's like we saw this movie together, and now we have matching merch from it. Like it was a whole experience for us. Yeah, like you know. yeah. And coincidentally, Barbie, I think, has surpassed the Super Mario movie as the wow. most successful movie of 2023. Good. I liked it a lot. Yeah. I, we saw it on opening night, and I honestly, going into it, and this might be controversial, I guess, but going into it, I had low ex expectations of it, just because I was like, how good can a movie be about, it, like, a toy, Barbie. you know? Yeah. yeah. So I know there's a lot of hype around it, but I didn't go, I went in thinking, like, there's a lot of hype, and it's kind of like a joke, because it's a weird premise, and it's probably not going to be a great movie, but I'm going to see it be for the culture, but I really enjoyed it. And yeah. My wife famously is a harsh critic. She's one of the harshest critics like I've ever met, but yeah. if she likes something, that that saying something, she went and saw Barbie three times. Three times? Yeah, she's like, I, I could see it again. Sublime! Sublime! <laughs> I love it. I freaking love it. Oh, so cool. Yeah. So cool. All right, I got to pivot because something happened while you were gone. Well, I was gone? In South Africa? Yes. Okay. I hard, think Another I, hard pivot. I think I pissed off Disney. You What? I think I may have blacklisted myself from the mouse. Because of your Pixar stuff or what? No, not because of my Pixar stuff. But I don't regret it. I don't regret this. What did you do? I I spoke out about... So Disney Plus, like in 2021, you can get the Disney Plus bundle, Hulu and ESPN, yeah. for like $11.99, no ads. Okay. Okay, so they've risen the prices a little bit, slowly but slowly and surely, they've risen the prices. And this October, October 12th, Disney Plus is rising is raising the price once again to have Disney Plus and Hulu without ads is going to be twenty four ninety nine. <laughs> what? $24.99. They're like doubling it? They're like doubling yeah, the price? they're doubling And it. taking out ESPN. And the thing that sucks, Disney and Hulu are one platform everywhere else on the planet except the U.S. Yeah, dude. And we have to pay for two different subscriptions. Well, here's the thing also is that some countries don't have all the streaming services. Like I was in... South Africa, and I couldn't get Hulu or Disney yeah. Plus. I like, couldn't watch Max on in Turkey. Yeah, like I don't know, and I don't know why that's the thing. I'm sure it has something to do with like licensing laws or something, but like, um, yeah, like I, I feel like that field gets complicated when you talk about like these things are one platform everywhere else. I th there, I, there's some sort of like law system in place with like what is allowed to be on what service. Yeah, it's you know? it's crazy, but anyway, they're raising it to twenty four ninety nine, which is ridiculous because like. Here's the thing. I love Disney. I've loved Disney my entire life. I want to work with Disney. I don't want to like speak out against them. I hate doing that. Yeah. But as I'm long a... as they're paying their uh, actors. Yeah. Like they yes, pay their actors. <laughs> Here's the thing. None of that money is going to go to their actors or writers, and it's all just like they've been, they've been producing content that hasn't been great. Like their content has not. They've been overproducing, and it's been a lack of quantity. You know, mm -hmm. and I feel like. They're trying to make up for that because they lost a lot of money in that process. 
and now we're being punished for their mistakes. And honestly, and this is what I said on my videos, if I could throw Disney Plus into the Boston Harbor, I freaking would. I would. I would strike strike Disney. You know what? I actually, I've said I am unsubs I'm unsubscribing from Disney Plus October 12th. Wow. And I, and I told my followers to do that. And ever since I did that, right now in Reels, it's only got like, it's not like mega viral. It's only got like 600,000 views. Only 600,000. Okay, yeah, but like it's not like it. mega it's viral. Only but the amount of people who are sharing that, posting that in their stories is crazy. And I looked at the statistics after I posted that. There was a significant spike in trending uh, SEO of canceled Disney Plus. Whoa. So I don't, it's my name's not attached to that trending. I'm not taking yeah, credit. I don't for think it. you really want to. I think a lot of people. That, yeah. I think a lot of people are upset about this, but for me, I feel like it's not fair to like raise your prices. It's a little bit crazy, um, especially considering the strike and how we're going to get even less content and that those actors and writers aren't being paid fairly. Yeah, I just personally think it's not the right thing to do. And I've always said I'm an honest creator. I want to like be supportive and positive, but when it's time to be negative, it's time to be negative. So yeah, I think I may have pissed off the mouse. I think that it's they the should. Truth. I think that they should stop cutting their wages, increasing their prices, and giving us sub-quality content for it. Yeah. I think you're making a good point. I think it's like, it's three strikes. Yeah, don't punish the consumer. And on top of that, they're going to try to go back to the Netflix strategy of taking away passwords sharing. Oh password God. sharing. Fucking hate and I'm that. like, you're making it so expensive. That's like the ideal way is to split it with like a group. Yeah. So we can enjoy Disney+. Plus. Or, anyway. or like family members who live in different households or something. Right, so my thinking is, listen, if millions of people unsubscribe from Disney Plus on that day, what are they going to do? What's the date again? October 12th. October 12th. Now, to be honest... from Disney Plus, October 12th. To be honest, there may be a huge mistake, and you may get charged on October 12th, so you may want to unsubscribe on October 11th. <laughs> unsubscribe from Disney Plus, October 11th. <laughs> yeah. Yep. We, we got to tell all 600,000 people that we're changing the date. Listen, I made a mistake. <laughs> okay, so... In the um, test episode, we talked about how I met Ariana Grande. Yeah. Um, and what's funny is that, like, our friend Brooke. Brooke, if you're listening to this, you know who you are. Shout out to Brooke. She, she texted me, and she was like, you should talk about how you met Ariana Grande on your podcast. And I'm like, okay, so someone clearly didn't watch Big the fan. test episode. <laughs> yeah. I take it back. Unshout out to Brooke. Literally the first thing Unshout we talked about. out to Brooke. Literally the first thing we talked about it on our whole podcast. <laughs> so... Really? Um, but uh, okay, so I'll we talked about here. Ariana Grande in the test episode, and then in episode one we talked about how we went to SpongeBob SquarePants the musical, and then immediately after we released episode one, or maybe episode two, there was a rumor flying around that the two were dating. Yeah, crazy. And it was like, wait, literally like the two people who we talked about who were completely like unrelated from each other, like in like in worlds. I mean, like one's a Broadway star and one's like like a pop star, you know, uh -huh. all of it. And we talk about them and on like separate occasions for separate reasons. And then all of a sudden those two people out of everyone in the world are dating. Let me walk through this test episode. We talked about Ariana Grande and we mentioned, Sp we mentioned SpongeBob. Yes. Ep official episode pilot release. We talk about Ariana Grande briefly. And then we talk about SpongeBob, the musical a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Those two episode releases star of Broadway musical SpongeBob. Dating Ariana Grande. Do you think there's a chance that maybe our podcast has superpowers? I do. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and I'll, I'll tell you why. Because we also talked about how when we went to the SpongeBob musical, you were using your superpower to get us drinks underaged. So we've literally already talked about how, like the universe conspires against us or with us or with us. The universe conspires a little bit in our above. direction. <laughs> the universe is like, do you know what it is? What, you what remember is that it? time I theorized about the string in your house being the key to the universe? Yeah. That was the moment where the universe is like, that was the shift. They're, they're onto us. That was the shift. What a weird, I still don't fully understand your train of thought on that one. It's okay. I understand it. Okay. And I have superpowers. Uh, okay. So you're telling everybody here that they should follow. Subscribe, yeah, 
and tune in for more. Like, leave a comment, leave a review, whatever. Tell me how much you love Michael. Tell me how yeah. much you hate Michael. Venmo me five dollars. Whatever at you want. Mike Lee, Venmo. <laughs> is that what your ad is? At Michael Lee. I think it's at Mike Lee. Michael. Lee. <laughs> <laughs> don't actually send me five dollars. Send Michael five dollars. <laughs> okay. Appreciate it. Anyway, um, I guess we should sign off then. Yeah. All right. I'm Michael Lee. I guess that means I'm BearCon Dancer. Wait, I want to be BearCon. Okay, f- well, pick one. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Aha! Wait, does this mean I'm BearCon or Michael? You get to pick! That's what we didn't decide! Is. Don't Neither. make this such a big deal! Okay, okay, I'll be Michael, you'll be BearCon. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, I'm Michael Lee. I'm BearCon Dancer. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>